Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use a default quantization grid in Logic Pro 9. One of the reasons I made this video is because I already have a two-part series on quantizing in Logic, and I uh, forgot to mention default quantizing in both of those videos. If you want to see either of those videos, please click on the link I have included below. And I highly recommend you do watch them unless you are already familiar with quantizing and logic. It'll save you a lot of headache and confusion in the long run. All right, a default quantization grid in logic is when you set your quantization um, parameter before you even play your first note. And what it does is every single region of MIDI data that you create after that point is going to be quantized to that value. Now you can change it later on, but it's, it's a nice way to um, quantize everything you have to the same value uh, right from the get-go instead of having to go and do it later. Um, qu default quantization grid is also known as auto-quantize. Uh, input quantize, as well as global quantize. If you hear any of those, uh, that terminology, that pretty much all means the same thing. So I have this uh, bell patch here that I like, and uh, what we have to do before we even play in our first region is uh, make sure we have the background, we uh, click on the background to deselect any regions we might have. I have none, so it's not going to be an issue. And we're going to go up into our inspector here, and as long as you don't have any regions selected, this top drop-down menu will say MIDI through. If you have any regions selected, the name of that region and uh, this area that says MIDI through uh, will match. So as long as this says MIDI through, we're going to go up to quantize, our quantize value, and we're going to choose a value. I'm going to choose an eighth note. So I'm going to make sure I p play a passage where my uh, shortest rhythmic value uh, is an eighth note. I also don't want to go this fast, so I'm going to double click on the tempo and change it to something a little slower. There we go. Do 90 BPM. And I'll go ahead and record. There we go. That was all in eighth notes. I can double click and check and make sure, yes, those are all eighth notes there. And I was a little, um, you know, my rhythm wasn't perfect, but because I set this eighth note default quantize, uh, now what shows up in my piano rolls, all notes that are automa have automatically been quantized to the eighth note, notice that they're all perfectly locked into time. And if I play this back, they're going to sound in time. And there we go. Um, we can do this with more um, more complex values as well. If we uh, want to use triplets, or maybe we want to use a uh, um, one of the mixed values up here, say like eight and twelve, it means eighth notes and eighth note triplets. Well, we can do that as long as I play the part accurate. It should, you know, by default quantize uh, accurately. So let's uh, give this a go. So there I had a rhythm that was 8, 8, 8, 8, triplet, 8, 8. So I've got these uh, mixture of eighth notes and triplet eighth notes. And as long as I played this in precisely, which I, which I did, uh, the quantization will make sense. And that is much, much more accurate than what I actually played in. Now, the only thing... Um, I have to make sure you know about uh, using default quantizing is that um, even if I click on the background here and I change my default quantize value to off or something else, it doesn't change the regions that you've already recorded. So that's kind of nifty. You don't have to worry about uh, having to go back and change those as well. They stay the same. The good news is if you ever want to undo that quantization, just click on the region, go up to the uh, inspector here and you can change the value back to off 
And then uh, lastly, the other thing we can do is if you ever want to apply your quantization settings destructively, which means you can't get back your original, um, you click on a region, you go up to uh, MIDI, region parameters, and then down here there's an option that says apply quantization settings destructively. Now, even though I apply this destructively, if I click on this region, it's still going to say 8 and 12 up here in the inspector. Even if we turn this off, you zoom out here, even if we turn this off, the quantization settings have been applied destructively, and therefore everything is locked into the eighth notes and the eighth note triplets. So that's default quantization grids, again, also known as input quantizing, global quantizing, and some people call it auto quantize. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.